Hi everybody and welcome in today's episode of Design Cinema. Here's Alex speaking and today we'll learn about the story of how Feng Zhu improved my work all along. This is me, Alex. I'm a French guy. I live in Reunion Island and uh, I don't want to be a concept artist. What? No. My childhood dream is to draw comics with my big brother who likes to write stories. How convenient. So, after high school, I start to do just that. But turns out, it's hard to get published. Like, really hard. But it's okay, and by January 2010, after a year of work, hard work, we fly to France for the International Festival of Comics in Angoulême. The biggest con in Europe, actually. So, we are here, we meet the publishers, we show them our project that we work so hard on, and finally they say, it looks good, but no thanks. So that failed. Back home, we decide we're not quitting, no. Clearly something was missing from our project and we should figure that out. And this is where Feng Zhu comes into place. I discovered his first video and his work literally blew me away. I thought, if I can apply some of these voodoo concept artist things into my own comic, I surely I could get published. Like, for sure. And pretty soon, that's what I did. Or tried. And here we are, March 9th, 2011. After randomly watching a couple of Feng's videos, I decided to crack up my first speed painting. And this is the result. Seriously, I even recorded myself thinking it was going to be the best thing ever. After doing this painting, I was literally traumatized. What did I do wrong? It looked so easy when Feng did it. I even had some leave custom brushes. <laughs> I started to watch his videos to find out what went wrong. And uh, it was pretty obvious I had done everything wrong. And only a month later, I was ready to make another attempt at this painting. Applying Feng's knowledge, this time I was ready. And here we'll go through seven keys I acquired. First thing, and really important, I learned to respect artistic direction. My brother is the client, and I had to make him happy. Second thing, I learned the word composition. Third, don't try to be cool and start drawing in black and white, damn it. Four, use photos to give it some grip and paint over it like a champ. <laughs> And I learned to slap some atmospheric perspective on that bad boy and had some birds to make it cooler, yeah. And six, wait to the end to add the colors, you can't go wrong. Seven, finally, everything above is in no help if you don't make sounds when you draw. Boop, 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 little birds. <laughs> so, you can see the difference between the two pictures, right? And everything happened in over a month. Basically, it was overnight. And here I am, two years later. Um, my comic book is finally out. Let me grab it. Here it is. Um, yeah, it's a, real, it's a real thing. In January 2013, I went back to Angoulême as an author this time. And uh, seriously, I don't think I could have done it quite well without you, Feng. And for that, I want to say thanks you.